Uh, here's the first one of the problem set having to do with factors. And I, this is just me, but I think if you understand the difference between a factor and a root, it makes this a lot easier. See, a factor is something like uh, uh, z is equal to, you know, let's say 3i. The, or no, that would be the root. That would be the root. That would be the root. And so the factor, how do we turn it into a factor? Z minus 3i is equal to 0. So in this case, I have this thing called z plus 2i. Z plus 2i equal to 0. It is a factor. So what would the root be? Z equals negative 2i, right? That's the... You just solve for z, okay? So there's your root. Now, we said that every root has a pair, a conjugate pair. It's the nature of complex. It's a, been proved, proven that you're going to have two roots. If you have negative 2i, what's the other one you're going to have? Positive 2i. So if that's the case, z equals positive 2i, then you can say the other factor is going to be z minus 2i equals 0. So the idea here is one factor is z plus 2i, the other one is z minus 2i. You okay with that? So there's, there's two of the three, and we have one more to find. Just a quick little comment. Let's say z was equal to 3 minus 4i. Could you tell me, is that a root or a factor? It is, this, this is a root. To make it a factor, it'll be z minus three plus four i. Now my question is, what would the other factor be if you do z minus three plus four i? What would the other factor be? It's still minus three, it's still, then it'll be minus four i. And you know this is true because if you set it equal here, you're going to get z is equal to 3 plus 4i. And if one root is 3 minus 4i, that would be the other one. So are you good with that? Did I hit that well enough? Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to try to find the other factor. You know it's, it's going to be a third because it's z cubed. So what I would do is I would take z plus 2i. And I'd multiply by z minus 2i. I'd multiply those out. So you're going to get z squared. You're going to get 2iz minus 2iz, which is 0, minus 4i squared. And what's i squared? Negative 1 times negative 4 is going to get z squared plus 4. Which makes sense that you'd get something like that because that's not a real, you won't have real factors. Okay, so this times something is going to be equal to 2z cubed minus 3z squared plus 8z minus 12. Okay, so to find the other one, you just simply go z squared times what is 2z cubed? 2z. And then 4 times what is negative 12? negative three. There's your third factor. So one, two, three. Very easy. Now sometimes they might ask you to find these in between coefficients. It just so happened that when I multiplied these out, I'm going to get z squared times 2z is 2z cubed. To get these in between terms, you're going to get plus 4 times 2z is 8z, and negative 3 times z squared is negative 3z squared, gentlemen. Thank you. And so therefore, uh, this is where you get the 8z squared, let's see, did we do that right? Negative 3z squared, no, 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 no. No, it's just uh, negative 3z squared plus 8 z minus 12. Yeah, just multiply them out. If you knew these two, you could figure these out, these coefficients. Something they do in IB a lot.
right, by multiplying them out, you can find those. That happens quite a bit. And so those, that's how you find those three factors. Know the difference between a factor. Now let me do a quick little concept piece. I've taught a long time. I know the things that, that mess people up. Uh, if you said uh, x plus 3 times x minus 2 equals 0, what are the solutions for that? x equal to negative 3, x equal to 2, right? So we're used to seeing things like this and saying, oh, okay, this is my root, this is my factor, right? Now when you do complex values, sometimes you'll get things like uh, x is equal to um, 2i, okay? So the factor is going to be x minus 2i, right, equal to 0. Now, is 2i a root or a factor? Is this a root or a factor? Factor. So here's where the confusing part is. What if x is equal to 3 plus 4i? Now, this, this looks kind of like this, doesn't it? Can you see how people would get, well, this is still a root, just like this was a root. And, but this is a factor. And then x minus 3 minus 4i is a factor. So just recognize that just because you see two things here, it still could be uh, it still could be a root. If there's two of them, it could be a factor. This, their variable, if the variable is there minus the root, it's going to be a factor. Okay? So I just thought that one.